Today, we are going to talk about boards. Boards on Pinterest. Let's talk about Pinterest boards. How to create it and why they're important. Creating the right boards for your Pinterest business account is important because one, it helps your Pinterest audience know what you're all about. Everything that you have to offer. All of your knowledge and expertise that you have is all right here on all these little boards. Number two, number two, and probably the most important reason why you want to have good boards for your Pinterest business account is because it helps Pinterest know what you have to offer all of those pinners out there. When they know what you're all about, what you have to offer, then they know who to put your content in front of. And when they put it in front of the right people, those are the people who are going to click on your pins. It's important. So let's do this. Hello, welcome back. I'm Tabby with Simple Pin Media and we are here to help you find your perfect person on Pinterest. If you are new, hit the subscribe button because you know, there's a lot to learn about Pinterest and we're kind of Pinterest experts here to teach you about Pinterest. So it's definitely a channel that you want to subscribe to. So let's get right into it. There are two types of boards out there. There are personal boards and there are group boards. What's the difference? A personal board is just a board that you own yourself on your Pinterest account. And really that's just it. It's just your board. Nobody else can contribute to it. You get to pin whatever you want into that board. You also get to make sure the description is on point, the title is on point, and that any pins that are pinned into that board are exactly what they should be. Then you have group boards. You can either own a group board or you can be a contributor in somebody else's group board. And if they are public, then everybody can see that it's a group board and there are various contributors in that group board adding their own pins into that board. Now back in the day, they used to be a little bit more emphasized or important, but over the last couple of years, they've kind of become less important, less valuable. So I wouldn't put a whole lot of time and effort into group boards and trying to to join like the best group boards out there. You kind of are gonna waste your time if you put way too much energy into it. They can be useful, but I would caution you to not join boards that are saturated with a bunch of contributors because that's really not gonna help you. If you have a ton of contributors in a board and they're all adding tons of pins every day, your pins aren't gonna get seen too much in that board. But if you have a collaborative situation with a small group of creators or business owners and you all work fairly with each other, then a group board could be beneficial to you. Let's get into the nitty gritty of how to create a good board. When you first open your Pinterest account, you're gonna be on the created page, which is not where you wanna be if you're creating a board. Your created page is where your idea pins are stored and all of your original content. So what you'll do is go to your saved section and then you're gonna hit this plus sign right here and go down to board. And this is where you will enter your title. So something we've needed for a while on our pin, on our uh, profile is some a board about idea pins. I'm gonna make a board called Idea Pin Creation. Now, Pinterest is gonna offer up some pins that might have to do with that board, but it's not gonna do that very well for me today because we are a B2B company and we specifically talk about Pinterest and Pinterest doesn't really offer up those kinds of pins to us but most likely you in your niche, you're gonna have some great ideas on in this section and you can choose different pins that relate to that board and you can save them to that board. That way, Pinterest kind of knows what that board is all about and your audience can know what that board is all about. Now, before I continue on with my 
pinning and my Pinterest strategy and all of that, I want to make sure I add a board description. People often skip this part and it's important because it is a place where you can add your keywords. So what I'm going to do is hit these three dots here and go to edit board and I'm going to add a description. If it's a board that relates to your business or your just your content, your niche, you don't want to keep it secret. You want it to be public. So now I'm going to go back to our profile, saved where my boards are, and here is my brand new idea pin creation board. What I want to do next is add a few pins that we already have that have to do with idea pins. Pick a board here to grab some pins to pin to our new board. I want it to be a pin about idea pins. So something that I have talked, how to create an idea pin. This is a great one. Save to my new board. Idea pin creation. There it is. Save. And so I would keep going, keep adding pins that relate to that new board. Fill it up maybe with five to ten pins if you have it. And then going forward as you create new content, if it relates to that board, you can add to that board. Here are some common questions that we get from various people, clients, our members, our students about boards on Pinterest. One would be how many boards should I have or how many boards should I create for my business? There's no perfect number out there. If you're just starting out, maybe you wanna create three to five boards that are niche specific about what you do in your business. Really what you wanna think about as you're creating boards is do I have content that is relevant to this board. If you have content that can be pinned to a topic, then create that board out of that topic. Topic. Another question we get about Pinterest boards is do I need to organize them or do I need to make them look a certain way? Do I need to put them some at the top, some at the bottom? Do I need to have board covers, things like that? The answer is no. It doesn't actually matter what your board order is or how they are presented, like alphabetical order or topic order or whatever you want to do. Because whatever you see on your own account is gonna look different to the pinner. Another question we get is how to find board title inspiration. How to find board title inspiration. Mm, yes, good question. What you wanna keep in mind when you are creating your board titles is that you want it to be keyworded and you want it to be concise. Sometimes people can be too general when they are creating their board titles. You really want to be pretty specific about the topic and what you are pinning in that board. So for example, at Simple Pin Media, our very general topic that we might use, or that we shouldn't use, but we could use, would be just Pinterest marketing. We could put, really, we could put all of our content, all of our pins into that board, but we wanna have more boards than that. We wanna be more specific. So we would have titles like Pinterest marketing for beginners, Pinterest marketing for e-commerce, product sellers on Pinterest, pin image best practices, idea pin, best practices. These are all very specific. Another example would be, let's say you are a home designer. You could have a board titled bathrooms, or if you talk about different bathroom designs, you could break that very general bathroom board into different types of bathroom design, like boho bathroom or Scandinavian bathroom. That's what I want to do or farmhouse bathroom, or bachelor bathroom. You catch my drift? Good. There are lots of other questions that I could answer about creating boards on Pinterest. And if you have a question that I did not get to in this video, please drop it down in the comments. I wanna talk about it with you. And also, if you can ask a question that I didn't cover today, other people might have that question too, and they could read your comment and then find out.
That does it for me today. I'll see you next week because we make videos weekly here on the Simple Pin channel. Please subscribe and I'll see you later.